The environment is really a, really a family environment here at Full Compass. What's great about Full Compass is it brings together people from various age groups that uh, have a common excitement and love for uh, the technology and the music and the video uh, that it enables them to create. It's not just finding somebody that's capable to do the job, it's also finding somebody that's capable and a good fit personality-wise with the company. And if you can get those two things, you're going to have an employee that stays around for quite a while. And that's what we're looking for. Our, I think the longevity of the people here, people wanting to stay here until they die, people wanting to be here and die at their desk, uh, says a lot for who this company is. I remember um, the first few times driving up here, my husband driving me off for work, I'd see that logo on the building and I'm like, wow, I get to come here. I get to, I get to work here every day. My name is Chris and I'm the controller here at Full Compass. Um, we have a staff of 10, including myself. So a customer comes in, we do a number of different uh, approvals to um, prior to releasing an order, uh, especially if it's a first-time customer, first-time credit card that we've seen. The design of the warehouse and the, the layout of the stock was a team effort you know, based on the people that use it. Since we had the you know, ability to de design it the way we would like it, we had, took everybody's input and, and made it the best compromise for all the different departments of the warehouse. It came out pretty much like we imagined it. So it's not often everybody gets to design their dream workspace and then work in it. Pretty much everything gets reboxed, so that way it shows up hopefully looking as good as it did when it was sitting on our shelf. When my wife and I got married, Full Compass threw a wedding reception for us and invited the entire company which I, I have never heard of another company doing that for anybody that I know of. My name is Chef Don. This is my kitchen. This is the Backstage Bistro. We do very limited pre-cooked items. We make everything as healthy as possible. We are constantly in a process of training the sales staff. All of our vendors, of which we have over 700, come and train two or three a day, every day. When we decided to build a new building, we decided to build a very, very large black box theater slash recording studio. But probably the most important reason that we built it was because I love to give to charity and with a 4,000 square foot black box theater, we can use it for dinners, for any of the charitable events that we do. We'll be able to seat with a large stage, about 310 at any time. Uh, we will be able to give this service to the organizations that we wish to give to. I'm Jonathan Lipp. Of the original four partners in the studio, I was number four. I had the least experience of any in the group. I learned how to be a recording engineer. I learned how to design equipment, how to build equipment, and how to service equipment. Uh, I ran into a kid who also wanted to build a recording studio, and his name was Jonathan Lipp. Uh, we all got together and very quickly, within a matter of a week or so, all had joined forces to build this recording studio. Uh, I'm not quite sure when we went live. It took us almost a year to build it because we were young, didn't know what we were doing. And, uh, but we finally did get it off the ground and almost every musician in Madison was in there at one time or another. Uh, the first big albums we recorded was Ben Sidron's uh, first album. Uh, Bruce Botnick, who had been the recording engineer for The Doors, had come in to engineer his albums and he taught us a great deal if not all of what we knew at the time because he was a big time Los Angeles recording engineer. Uh, so that's how I met Jonathan. Uh, he became a partner very early on and the studio was the only private recording studio uh, 
uh, at the time in the mid 70s. I'm Rick Murphy. Nowadays in the Madison area, there are oh, roughly half a dozen professional recording studios. In the early 1970s, though, there were zero. So Will Emmendorf, Mike Keel, Jonathan Lipp, and I got together to remedy that. We built the original Full Compass, the recording studio. And I mean we built it. We hammered every nail. We even built our own console because there were none that we could afford on the market in those days. And uh, some of the favorite memories are the live radio concerts we did on 101.5. National talent, local talent, regional talent, but done old-time radio style with a live audience and MCs comprised of announcers from the radio station. From the original Full Compass gang, I wish the current Full Compass Systems gang, Susan, Jonathan, and all of their colleagues, all the best.